everyone. Hello. What's Hi. up? This is, this is so. It, yeah, I'm, I'm on the Ullman, one. and as many of you know, I'm a dark ambient musician who is about embracing and, um, uh, excuse me, embracing our darker emotions and inner monsters in order to find peace and creativity. So I feel this is important as it helps us center ourselves while it benefits others by providing great art. And with us today is Maria Kazman, yeah, who is an artist and photographer from the Ukraine. And we are Hi, here to talk with her a bit about her art and photography. So if you're interested in seeing her work, you can go to Maria Kazman uh, and see her surreal. Um, wait, what is the website again? It's um, uh, Cargo Collective. Uh, yeah. There is pri uh, I Can I write you it somewhere? Yeah, yeah, you can write it to me. I will just post it. So uh, you can also, if you want to look like right now, you can go on her Instagram and uh, Maria Kasman. And uh, was it Maria? I will Kasman? post that too. Yeah. Um, it's Maria Kasman Photography on art. Instagram. Then art. Yeah, let me see here. Yeah, Maria Kasman art on with uh, the dots. Yeah, so Maria dot Kasman dot art. So check that out, and then um, cargo collective dot com slash Maria Kasman, and I'll uh, make sure to post that. So this is the first go round of this artist spotlight thing. So I'm getting a feel for it. So if things are a little awkward, like. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning a lot of stuff about how to introduce an artist and everything and uh, ask questions. I don't typically, I've never really conducted any kind of a well, interview. I hesitate to use the word interview. I don't like that. I like conversation because this is really what it is. And I'll just have questions and uh, me and Maria will just bounce off those questions. And occasionally I will uh, throw up some pictures from her um cargo collective site and uh we'll talk about that but for now yeah let's just talk um how long have you been into photography uh, i've been doing photography for 15 years now uh, i started it when i was uh, 16 and yeah i'm pretty old <laughs> right oh, now yeah? 15 years yeah i started it as casual well uh it all started on deviant art do you know place like that yeah deviant deviant art. Art. Yeah, yeah yeah i found yeah, that yeah. place and it uh, felt really inspiring to me so uh, i i just thought yeah i i want to make something like that too and i started and uh, <clears throat> my first works were uh, portraits i was uh, taking portraits of my friends and that's how i learned to work with the technique you know with cameras i was using film camera for a long time uh, so i went it all in a hard way <laughs> it's easier with digital when yeah. you can see the result and when you have like uh, two like 72 <laughs> frames and that's all you should do everything smart 72 right. the two rolls it mm -hmm. wasn't even like that all the time sometimes i only had like 36 frames and that's all <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, from that i moved uh, to conceptual art and uh, now i'm doing it like i'm doing portraits too it's commercial it's local i'm taking portraits of people and uh, for myself i'm creating this um, strange art surreal so yeah. i also make photography of flowers it, be it began uh, like four or three years ago 
uh, that was like side project of uh, my slash body flowering project for which I uh, was growing flowers. We lived, uh, I have to uh, move back uh, to this uh, for three years ago, me and my boyfriend were uh, renting a big house outside the town uh, and I had place to grow my own garden. So I started growing flowers and uh, used them for slash body flowering project. You can show it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm about to pull that up now. I started it actually in 2017, but I was just making photos for. Uh, no, it's it's it, that's the third part of it. Yeah. Which one is this one? Yeah, this one. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, and all of those flowers were grown by me. You can just tap on the photo, and it oh. will, or. Or like that. Yeah. No, That's I so think cool. it's cool. Yeah, this is amazing work. Mm -hmm. These That's are the like crowd. heart. The the name of this one is Kraut. Mm -hmm. Kraut. Uh like you know, crowd on the concert or a crowd sitting and watching something amazing oh and, like okay yeah 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 and hearts starting to bloom wow yeah uh, and the funny thing is uh, that i am dealing with meat every time as my dog is eating natural food so uh it started with <laughs> my dog's food Really? So giving yeah. him like natural meat to eat, just giving him, um, yeah. Uh, oh, and wow. also, what I would love to say about this project well, it's personal because, uh, well, I'm I had a pretty weird and hard childhood yeah uh, and uh, this project like help me uh, it started uh, well i start when i <laughs> when i just started it i uh, was a visiting psychotherapist and for uh, for two years back then when i started this project Mm -hmm. uh, and I started seeing weird dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that was the thing that I was uh, remembering of uh, I was raped as a two year old child by my mom's friend by her will. So mm. it's uh, wow. this project is somehow dedicated to it. Uh, like I wanted to uh, there is few layers of this project. I wanted to uh, express my anger, I guess, and beauty. I feel because I felt beauty of the world <clears throat> all the time. And also I wanted to ask other people what is beauty to them because as you see, yeah, the world can be beautiful even in meat worms mm -hmm. and blood so yeah um it's it's funny yeah recently there was an, another artist that was um i actually um who had posted in our group about uh finding the beauty in, in yeah what, what people find gory or nasty but it's a part of our um very nature and i feel like it, it kind of opened my eyes and seeing art like this and, and like when you mentioned that it makes me uh want to embrace that side of nature more instead of be uh repelled by it and realize that it is a part of nature and it doesn't have to be looked at in a 
bad way. Yeah, I love this stuff. Yeah, that's wonderful. Ah, oh, look at this. Yeah. <coughs> so, um, this this project lasted for how long? Uh, well, I uh, biggest part of pictures uh, was made in two thousand. 17 and i started posting in around 2018 hmm. pictures i made at the beginning of this year but i'm not going to uh, make it hmm. well yeah. please it was like four years four or three years and <laughs> Were you doing other projects at the same time, or was it just mainly this? Uh, no, just this one. I had pretty much work to do. Uh, that actually is the reason why I took those photos and wasn't making, wasn't choosing for a whole year because I had a lot of work to do. Yeah, I was a UX designer. You were a what? Then. A designer? E UX, it's like user experience designer. Oh, uh, wow. Making skeletons of websites. Oh, wow. So I had pretty much work back then. And yeah, the one with Golden Heart is also a small part of it, but it's more like isolation thing. I was. Uh, yeah, when you turn back the screen yeah, of the website. <clears throat> How many people are watching us? That's a good question, Just actually. Curious. Let me see. Mm, two people. Unless that's us. No, it's just two eye watchers. So. I two people. This is hello. Um, let me see something. My computer uh, might maybe I can share it. it. Yeah, give it just a second. I think it might be um it, it's thinking right now. <laughs> I can share it to my page too. Okay, that sounds good. Uh let's see. I might have to exit out real quick and just go back. I'm going to give uh, the browser a second. Am I coming in okay right now? Uh, wait. Yeah. Okay. So the camera's working. Just my browser just got froze a bit. So I'm scared it might kick us off. If so, I'll just send you the <laughs> it's link three again. People but... Right now. Three people. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I shared it on my page. Hi, okay. friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Yeah, right now everything's frozen. Um, in the meantime, uh, let's see. On one second. Uh, let me close the browser. Just hold on one sec. This stream yard is pretty cool, I think. It's better than Zoom, I guess. How many people can chat, have a chat in this? Yeah, it's frozen. Okay, there's that. Hi, again. <laughs> okay, now I can go back to... It was frozen so bad. 
Well, I, was it? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to your. I was um, alone. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go back to your. Yeah, can you show that screen? Mm -hmm. where it works. I want to finish with that body flowering uh, yeah. because uh, there are few side projects from that. Okay. So what I'm a, it's about to come back up. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Uh, one? The one with the hands with hands and golden heart. It's mm -hmm. my thoughts about isolation that happened to all of us this year. Mm -hmm. uh, there is yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's not that deep, but it felt good making this. Yeah, these these are really cool. Graphically, they look amazing, I would say. Yeah. And is that... this is the isolation. The heart in aquarium fish. Yeah, tank, aquarium. I don't know. Like a tank. Aquarium. Yeah. Well, because the god is woman and she was playing with, uh, she is playing with humanity's hearts. <laughs> oh, wow. I love that. Are these uh, shards of glass or mirror? Or? Uh, yeah, oh, that okay. is... There oh, is the uh, a water tank and mirror put it in a waterfall. So it's mm. under the water. And uh, the blue is paint in the water tank. And it's uh, just sit it down on the bottom of fish tank. Mm. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, and the other side project from Slash Body Flowering, it actually the name of it is Slash Body Flowering, uh, okay. is with a white flower orchard. Yeah. And this one is about women and about, it's called actually Molesting Flowers. And it's about the rape. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. So it's definitely a blend of like beauty and darkness. <laughs> it may be <laughs> weird to watch it. And realizing what it's all about. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I, I would say it's quite beautiful graphically, right? I, believe I mean, so. if you if you put away the idea, the vision, yeah. it looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, when did you say you did this again? This, year? Mm, uh, this was made this year to two side projects. I'm sorry, what was that again? Flowering, mm -hmm. 2020, this year, the beginning of this year. Okay, yeah. There is also a small video of this, but I guess a, I don't think would... I saw that. Um, was that is it? It's not on this side, is it? No. It's not here. I can. Mm. This um, mm -hmm. amazing work here. Let me see. Um, what's that? <laughs> Was there? Um, let me get my questions here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, what were some of these other projects here? What was what was um, this series called here? It's Circle. It took me seven years. <laughs> Just like yeah, that was um, uh, that was my first project, mm -hmm. the longest project at the moment. And it changed me a lot. And that actually the project in mm -hmm. which I realized I can uh, work with my problems, mental problems uh, with the help of art. I thought uh, I'd seen most of your stuff. I didn't even see some of these. These, these are really cool. Thank you. Uh, there, there is a part of circle woman circle like two dots woman and the rest and this is the rest there are no people in this it's just surreal <clears throat> surreal places i guess yeah it's very surreal wow <laughs> yeah <I'd love laughs> it. um Every now and then I'll see a dog in your pictures. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, his name is Anke and he is long haired German shepherd and he is seven years old. And actually he was the first person. <laughs> I would say he's a person that helped me with my traumas. Uh, like I already told, I grew up in a very abusive family. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, my father was beating me and I never had much mm, understanding when I was a child. Uh, I couldn't uh, feel my feelings with my mm -hmm. parents i couldn't uh be myself so yeah we were pretty crazy family <clears throat> i have a brother and he is very broken i would say right maybe because he's not doing art he just wow look like at this that. Let me ask you something like, where was this at? Like, uh, I can't tell if yeah. it's like snow or sand or what. It's a uh, sand carrier. I don't know if it's the yeah. right word, carrier. Let me see. Yeah. <clears throat> carrier. Carrier. Quarry, sand no, quarry. quarry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, we have a big sand quarry outside mm -hmm. the town, and yeah. a lot of photographers love this location. So yeah, yeah I love I used it to too. Love quarries in my twenties that I'd be drinking and like go down in one, and my memories of them are quite hazy. But uh, there is, I'd say they're do a revisit without being uh under the I love it. <laughs> I love them too. We lived near one That's so for cool. three years. Gosh, look at this. Yeah. Yeah, There's that's two my boyfriend. Yeah. And oh. he, he's not happy with this photo. photo. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. He doesn't like to be uh, shown. So I... Took some I'm so happy he's not in my friend list and he can see this right now. <laughs> that I'm talking about him. <laughs> yeah, he just delayed himself. Like I'm not in this stuff. I actually he <laughs> helped me with a circle series it's project a lot. Mm -hmm. We were traveling around uh, in um, different places. He helped me with all the all the stuff that I couldn't do myself, uh -huh. but. He's the quiet one. <laughs> He's wow. not in it. Yeah. 
my I love this. <laughs> so, uh, the circle was. Um, uh, I want to say that. Let me. Let me. Um, the circle was uh, my way to escape. Mm -hmm. um, bad childhood. Uh, this project was so important for me that. I couldn't sleep when I uh, imagined something and I was just uh, very concentrated on that. And mm -hmm. I actually, I didn't know that I am dealing with problems with art mm -hmm. while my psychotherapist didn't tell me that. She told me like, yeah, this is those pictures are helping mm -hmm. you and when i realized that i continued this seven year journey <laughs> seven years wow yeah th i mean that's that's what music making music does for me you know it's uh kind of uh therapy for yourself and um being able to tap in and maybe uh express some things to yourself in a very you know, often it, these things are abstract, you know. Um, there's Doggo. Again. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's Anke. Yeah, yeah I actually have two dogs. And actually, Anke helped me to meet my boyfriend. Yeah? He, yeah, he have dog too. So I have two dogs now. Uh, and we were just walking our dogs. And that's how we met in field without so neat. it's funny how we uh end up meeting our mates <coughs> now that's really pretty that's for real wow look at that uh, that's chornohora it's uh, carpathian mountains very beautiful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ukraine is very beautiful I just no dream some day I will be able to create a place for artists in mountains. Yeah. Wow. Where people oh, no. can connect. I have to go back. Hold on one sec. I That's missed it. Talks. Sorry, it's easy to click out of this box. <laughs> mm hmm Ah. Be still. <laughs> Here. I'm I'm determined to go through all of these pictures. I don't care what happens. Uh, just click on the picture. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so you make it easy for want myself. To go out. God, yeah. Mm. That ladder there was just We saw that. Yeah, we saw these, didn't we? So that and so you were asking about the dog why he was a lot mm -hmm. in my pictures. Yeah. Uh, he's my best friend, my soulmate. He looks happy. I hope he is. Maybe that was about all of them in this series. Is it? yeah. Seems like that was about it. Um, let me see. Just click on Maria Kasman. Maria Kasman, and yeah. Cool. Now this. And this is Circle Two. Circle Woman. Ah. fallen angel huh yeah this one is the one i used in the ad to, for this conversation yeah this is just wonderful yeah people love it i love it too this that was uh, uh, it's the most popular on my etsy shop the previous one the blue i one. think i mean again what people what helps elevate these like your dog like he's in the foreground here and like the figure in the back it's just wonderful circle 
uh, well, actually, when we created the circle scene, mm -hmm. I was making it into small movie where the circle should grow up, but I never finished that. So I was thinking about videos back then too, but I yeah. never finished that. What um, I was thinking lately that would be great, maybe redo some of these photos in videos. Yeah. Just remake them in motion pictures. I think that'd be great. This is, and you call this the circle series, and is it because of what, why circle? Uh, I don't know, actually. Yeah. I just called it like that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, well, I love this figure. Mm -hmm. Circle is nice. It's perfect. Yeah. Figure. And it's also a perfect circle. Maynard Keenan. <laughs> I was yeah. fan. Well, I am fan. So <laughs> it came from it a little bit yeah. too. Yeah, I love this. Lavelle, I love all lyrics. these figures are like turned with their back towards the camera. Well, actually, Maynard Keenan is big inspiration too. If it comes to uh, inspiration from other people. Mm -hmm. two, yeah, definitely. You know, you know two, right? Uh -huh. Perfect circle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a lot of my own inspirations. <coughs> and yeah, there is a lot of beautiful um, landscapes and yeah. women. Are a lot of these people in your um, pictures, are, are they friends of yours? Yeah. We became friends while making those pictures. Oh, yeah, so while you were taking them, okay. Yeah. I'm not very easy with making friends, and photography actually helped me a lot. I've met a lot of great people. Well, yeah, I mean, th therein lies another thing. Uh, if you really embrace your passion and what you're about, which for you is <laughs> photography and video, then um, those the right people will come your way, you know? Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of uh, like a magnetism, I call it. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. It's like ghostly. Yeah. yeah. Every picture have a story how we made it. <laughs> yeah. And some are very funny. Yeah. Walking a few miles to some place. Uh, <laughs> this was interesting. Yeah, I paid. I paid the model, so but because I just couldn't. Well, I usually I don't pay models. Uh, but this time I just should do that because it was really hard. Uh, mm -hmm. This is Chernohora Mountains too. And it's really a hard place to go to. Mm, so I found the girl that would be interesting to travel and make some money. And I found this one. <clears throat> yeah. 
Well, this. Is that just the dirt, like how red it is there? Uh, no, it's... That is, that is actually squarey too. But not the sand. Uh, I forgot the word, so it doesn't okay. matter. But <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. We were taking these photos, and the guy who works in there. Well, you actually can't just go into that place because it's quite dangerous. They're like big uh, mountains made of these things and they are mm -hmm. red and yellow uh, so we were walk walking and we were just about to make another shot and the girl should take her clothes off <laughs> and we are preparing and the guy comes out from nowhere and she was in her clothes uh yes <laughs> and he started yelling at us so we just oh, ran man. away yeah well, you guys had a runaway? That's uh, no, we just like, I started talking like maybe maybe we can make a few more photos because it's like really far from home. Yeah. My boyfriend uh, took us there and it's like around 100 kilometers, uh, how many in miles in? 50 miles something mm -hmm. well it's quite far from home to just take so we, we took like three pictures and should go again with the glass uh the mirror and even like a little bit of uh from the body flower yeah just <laughs> yeah it's like I, I like how there's a blending of of the two just a little bit so what are our questions yeah let me well, see let's see Maybe you guys have some questions. How many people are watching us? Yeah, let's see. Make I would love to answer. <coughs> Let me go over there and see. I wish I had dual monitors so I could actually just like look right over, but I'm just working with my laptop screen right now. <laughs> so cool. Well, everybody's got good things to say, but I don't see any questions. So if anyone has any questions, uh, let me know. This is really good artwork, though, guys. Really good, uh, really good stuff. I've actually, <laughs> believe it or not, gone through most of my my questions I had written down, but I feel like some are coming up as uh, as I see stuff. This like forest area is wonderful. And you said he primarily worked with digital now, right? Uh, can you Did, repeat, please? Do you primarily work in digital? You said you used to use film, but now you use yeah, digital. Yeah, this is film. This is fil uh, most of all pictures in this project was made on film. Right. Um, there is a... The self portrait video I want to show. Yeah. Because that is really uh, like when I guess it was one of the first things I saw that, like, maybe. Yeah, that's. To... I shared this video in a group, and that's how we started talking. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. in here. No, I'm trying to find my. I got so many tabs open, I'm a little little confused oh yeah i have to go back to uh i can help you can yeah. i help you please yeah if you don't mind sending me a little link or something
keep getting kicked out. So. Just sent you. I guess it happening because. Well, I had too many windows I open and I accidentally closed out of that one. But I'm going to, I see your uh, thing now. So what I'm going to do is open that up real quick. And then I will. Go to it. StreamYard. Go to share screen. All right. Can you see it there? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Oh, wow. 2000, 2000 views already. Wow. Yes. And that's why that's I amazing. look so funny right now because I had my hair burning uh -huh. at the end. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I remember I read that and um yeah, you you did that all in the name of art. That's so cool. I, uh well, uh Or maybe maybe I you were just felt, tired of your long hair too. <laughs> yeah, I felt that way at the moment so i just cut it and decided to use it in that video so yeah yeah so like you dug a hole and everything like in a perfect yeah shape. my brother actually helped me with the tall in the shape of me he oh. helped me to dug it and we were just like Casually drinking beer and making art. Nice. Yeah. That was really cool. Like, yeah, I love that that video. Um, and can't believe you were actually burning your hair there. Like, did you get burned at all? It wasn't that easy. <laughs> it uh, was real. Uh, well, I have used all of my uh the word stick that you make fire from what is the word no. from that? what do they oh like a candlestick no, no. like Maybe. a match yeah i have used all my matches while trying to burn <laughs> to set my hair on fire and it turned out really bad uh, i also had gas and it just didn't work out so well but wow. finally yeah. it worked out but it was wasn't that so if you are going i'm telling this to people who want to burn uh, their own hair it's not easy you have to take some time and <laughs> it only work out like that yeah, I have burned my hair and this project was made for was ma made specially for an exhibition that will open up in less than months now. 
it will be online exhibition because of the quarantine but it should be it could be shown offline in cave it's actually cave photo fair it's big big thing in ukraine mm -hmm. so i that was like a photo series but it's group for group installation but oh, and nice. i also yeah i also made uh, photos but commission no commission juries well people who are choosing your art for uh, installation for walls mm -hmm. they choose uh, my video so there only mm -hmm. will be this thing and it makes me it makes me think about the fact that maybe i should do more videos i it's think you much, should yeah it's much more much more fun and i don't know it gives you more feelings yeah if you watch it yeah did you use the same camera for your videos yeah. as you did your photography yeah canon 6d I was going to ask because I'm thinking about getting one for myself, actually. Uh, it's or maybe, maybe get Santa Claus to bring, bring it to me or something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, it's good camera. Yeah. I will definitely, definitely recommend. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I was thinking about getting a webcam and then I'm like, maybe I just want to get a nice camera and use that. Uh, as a you, can, you can also think about mirrorless camera they are getting pretty popular right now sony mirrorless. sony alpha the cameras without mirrors in sight it's like full frame but without the mirror oh, yeah. uh, it have less mechanical parts so it is much more quicker and i guess the quality is better yeah. And if you want to make videos, it also better to use mirrorless camera. Yeah, yeah, it's like a foreign language uh, as far as cameras go. <laughs> I will message you later. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to do that. <laughs> so. Let's well, like uh, uh, my friend O. She was on here. She asked a few questions. Uh, oh, that's great. Yeah. She asked, uh, "What? How do you feel about mirrors? What do you feel about mirrors? You use mirrors in your artwork." Mm. Uh, it's something like the door to another world. I don't know. I love the feeling. Uh, I love the way they give you surreal feeling in images mm -hmm. and if uh, and talking about some I don't know how do I feel about mirrors yeah no I mean that's good enough mm -hmm. right there really I mean windows I guess yeah I that's kind of the way I see it a little bit and then um they're certainly uh, very aesthetically pleasing in those photos, for sure. And um, I love the one where you see uh, your dog right there right at the bottom. I love it. Uh, and then, um, then O asks, uh, what do you see in your reflection? Yeah. Yeah, I guess... Um, Kind yeah, of what I have to think about it. Have, yeah, that's one to ponder what more. What do I of. see in my reflection? Well, there was time when I hated myself so much mm -hmm. that I barely watched in the mirrors. But now I guess, yeah, I had this feeling, this bad feeling when I cut my hair right mm -hmm. after there, uh, after then. But yeah. now, well, I love myself, I guess. I passed 
that way when I hated myself. Uh -huh. Now I put myself like in the front. So yeah, I love myself and I love mirrors because they help me to look over my skin. <laughs> and I am 31. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah. yeah, I love mirrors right now. Yeah. Thank That's you for cool. questions. I would love to see more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> see, she says, did you ever uh, have you did you have to overcome any setbacks or did you have to overcome any fears in order to do what you do? Uh, if I understood it right, is she asking, uh, do I overcome fears uh, to make my art, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, yes, because uh, it's slightly personal and people do not. Well, I believe why I was uh, talking about child molesting <laughs> and uh, a weird family because I don't think people can actually understand my art without knowing this basics of me. I don't want anyone to feel bad about me because I have, I guess I have overcome that with art and with help of psychotherapists. Uh, but showing these things in my photos, uh, it was scary because I was showing off, like showing my soul and feelings. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was it was really scary to create slash body flowering because I knew I should explain that somehow. And there are upcoming projects that are noted uh, and they are going to be emotional for me <clears throat> too yeah so yeah. i overcome feels and i'm going to do it more and i think maybe that well for those who are watching or will or will watch it later maybe i can help you guys, if you had some bad experience in your life, uh, you can just talk about it. Yeah, yeah. And you were talking and about like, yeah, you were people, talking about. Sorry, go ahead. No. Yeah, I'm. So, no, go ahead. Yeah, you, <laughs> you you're can the talk. guest here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and I forgot. So you tell. <laughs> I forgot okay. what I was. Well, just in general, like art, you know, it's like you said, um, people might not understand it unless they under, un unless they know about the story underneath. But the really cool thing is, like, I enjoyed your art without even knowing that. And then when I did know it, it just made it even uh, more meaningful. Mm, that's cool. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not going to tell this story all the time. Yeah. I guess I'm going to tell it like a few more times, but not all my life. Uh, yeah, life goes on, right? Yeah. Yeah. And but th I, these are just important wanna, chapters of your life. Yeah, I have like I have one personal project. In the future, it's noted, all noted, and I'm uh, searching for people and staff to do it. Like, I need bed in the field. It's not that easy. So I have to figure out things. Uh, this is going to be, I guess it's going to be the last personal project. And uh, the next one after that, that is uh, also noted, I want to I want to speak about 
the forbidden emotions but yeah. not in my family or something like that i want to speak about soviet union and how emotions were forbidden in here and yeah well stuff like that I you got a lot to be. explore artistic yeah yeah ukrainian is a perfect place if you need some uh, background some roots some ideas and mm -hmm. you live in ukraine you have perfect base for that because we <clears throat> we are still coming out of dark ages in here mm -hmm. and we have a lot as as artists we have a lot of work to do and that's what i'm going to do next gosh Thank that's exciting uh, can you reply no, I said, I said, that's exciting, actually. I mean, even though it's all dark stuff, I mean, or potentially dark stuff, I guess. I um, I mean, I'm glad to hear that you're going to be exploring new realms. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have moved on from personal. Yeah. And this is great. Life moves on and it's yeah. perfect. Yeah, good. But and that's what I wanted to say to people that are that experience bad things in their lives. Use your background and move on. Your yeah. bad background could be amazing thing to think about and create about. Just put it in the right image. Like for me, it's surreal with. Mm, well, that's my style. I'm using symbols and colors, and you can find your own way to express yourself. Mm -hmm. Bad yeah. life, bad childhood isn't the uh, isn't the the thing that should stop you right or make yeah. you drink or whatever yeah destroying um, your life yeah exactly and i i feel like um i guess i've told this story in videos before but uh you know doing music really replace drinking for me like i was doing yeah. it before but i wasn't able to do like i wouldn't even be talking to you right now or have a facebook group or be turning out albums if i kept drinking the way i i did and um i i basically had to stop that and then i was left with whatever reasons i was that i was drinking like there's a reason like i keep drinking that much you know so I tackle that through music and um, I feel like even me, maybe my own way more in my own abstract, weird way, I guess I express myself uh, through music and now I'm, I'm exploring other avenues myself. Um, so um, yeah, just now, now I'm kind of like on, onto other things. So unless there's that's something great. I find out that's deep in my psyche that I'm like, oh, yeah, there there's that. Let me express that somehow. But, you know, which is always possible. But um, but now that I have music and I have art and I'm doing what I'm doing, I feel um, I feel I feel like I'm living life more, you know, and I'm I'm doing what I set out to do. So um, uh, can I ask you? Yeah. Uh, did you have that feeling when you were a child, like you loved music and maybe you dreamed you want to work with music? Because yeah. Yeah. I think we all know who we are when we are ch children <laughs> and mm -hmm. then we just forget. Yeah, I yeah, I I think that is uh, where I I know that's the truth. Um, Cause yeah, when I was a kid, I would be in my room listening to uh, 
all the time listening to like loud classical music or, or soundtracks. And I would have a baton and I would just be in my room for hours like I was <laughs> a conductor and just for hours all day, almost every day. And, um, and something went yeah. wrong. You should do it from the beginning, but mm -hmm. something went wrong. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, there were probably multiple things that went wrong. I did. Um, I guess I just I got caught up in other things and I forgot that was even, you know, it was something I I had a very specific idea if I wanted to do music, what it had to be. And I felt it was too hard. So I let other things get in the way regular daily life things, getting a full-time job, being tired from my job, you know, and I, I, I did do a band called Junkyard Apocalypse, like my own, like a one man project or two man project. I did an album and then I was like, <clears throat> I let other things get in the way and I just forgot about it. And then, um, I just kept on and off drinking and then, um, years later i mean i just i you know i come to the conclusion as to why and um so this this chapter in my life from i'd say 36 is when i stopped drinking i'm 38 now um i feel like i'm i'm actually living life more than ever because i've realized some things i feel like somebody's took me and woke me up it's like you know um and because there, there's so much more to, to do with your life. Uh, if you have those artistic qualities, which I think most of us have, it's just finding that uh, and realizing that you have that within you and, and you can uh, maybe in, even help other people. There is a guy, a Russian uh, writer. His name is Vadim Zaland. Uh, and he wrote a few, bu few books called reality transurfing and i recommend you to read this and i What's recommend to, uh i will write down and maybe you could write down in the chat so other people yeah. could read that too like in a minute let me just finish this yeah well his books changed my life, I guess, because uh, he, well, this is kind of weird literature. It's not, it's not um, science, like science you can prove, but the way, but, but things he is talking about are actually real. And when you read, you will understand and all everything like we are forgetting who whom we should be because because just like that life is like that wait a minute i will write down the team the land reality and surfing so I want to I wrote down you can share it with people yeah oh we got oh <laughs> Bottom it's below. very inspiring reality trans surfing okay i'll put that in yeah the... it might sound quite weird uh at the weird first side <laughs> at the first si side but when you dig into that books uh-huh well it yeah you start feeling the things he's talking about and my life actually changed changed because of his books i quitted my job last year you did my day oh. job yeah 
and I just started working for myself, my own business. Mm -hmm. Like I'm a graphic designer and photographer and all the stuff. Well, I can do so many stuff, so many things, and I've been working for other people and making their brands better and making money for them. So, and I was very unhappy too. But now I'm living my life, so it's very similar to you. Yeah, yeah that that is I very feel similar. Freedom. Yeah. Right now, how many? Uh, how, ta like, when did you quit your job, day job? <clears throat> well, I stepped down to <laughs> one day a week. Um, just cause mm -hmm. that will help with rent, but, um, I, I was full time. I, but this was, I guess I put in my, well, kind of notice for that about, what was it? Three weeks ago, f about a month ago. And, oh, uh, that's well. yeah, but it uh, was, it was, it was a hard, like, I just, I'm so glad I did that. <laughs> Making music can bring money too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm hoping to get more gigs doing soundtracks. And yeah, uh, that's that, a that's, great idea. Yeah, that's my aim. I, I want to continue doing soundtracks for podcasts. And um, I would love to do soundtracks for like um, independent, low budget horror movies or something. Because, um, or documentaries. That, that, you know, that's so. great. You made yeah. such a decision. And yeah, we have only one life, yeah. and we yeah. should do exactly. what we like and what makes yeah. us happy because happiness isn't mm -hmm. some aim. I think happiness is the path. Yeah, you I agree. Talking. So, if you are not happy at the moment, you should mm -hmm. do something with yeah. that. Yeah, uh, I, was, well, I was I was telling my girlfriend like when I was um basically it, I, I like if I'm in a place I don't like to be let's go this way if I were to be a child and I were to look in a crystal ball and see the future what would I want to see me be doing yeah. and it's it wasn't what I was doing at work. And that was taking up all my time. And I was like, that is not what I want to do. And <clears throat> what I'm doing now, this is what I want to be doing. This is what I would have wanted to see in a, that crystal ball as a child. And um, uh, actually, speaking of crystal balls and magic, uh, I have a question from O. She said, if you were a mythical magic legendary creature, what would you be? <laughs> Like what I would look like, or what? What would you super, be? What? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm already a mythical, magical, legendary somebody. So I know I would be a, a wood fairy with a wood the ginger fairy. hair. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> really, that's cool. Yeah, and I would love to uh, move uh, to the places I like, just like that. Oh yeah. Without yeah. Just Without transport. losing time. <laughs> I know, right? That would make traveling so much easier. Yeah. I would I would go to the Ukraine right now and uh go visit some of those places I saw in the pictures. That stuff was beautiful. So um, I'm watching Star Trek Discovery and they are traveling with mushroom uh things like ha. Huh. Really? Remember the word? Are they doing mushrooms in Star Trek now? That's no. Awesome. <laughs> uh, they are traveling in space uh, with the help of mu of mushroom disputes. 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 Okay. Haven't you seen seen that? I love Star, Star Trek, Trek, but I haven't seen Discovery. I've heard good things. So um I I get I get so little time to no, watch anything. Bottom. Right. Mushroom spore. That's mushroom the right spore. word. 
Okay. No, the way mushrooms are. How they, how, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, definitely. Disperse. Disperse. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how they No, go. no, no, no. Yeah. Spores. Reproduce. How they reproduce. The way yeah, reproduce. mushrooms reproduce spores, right? Right word is spores. Yeah, spores. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they are traveling in space with the help of mushroom spores. <laughs> that, that is so cool. I yeah. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> and when you realize that, like when you imagine that it's, it can happen. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going, going to... <sighs> Oh yeah, is, you have a what is your flowersy art space? Is it art space you have? Was it flowersy? Art oh space? right, uh, yeah that that is site project mass market. I uh, well I I'm just taking photos of flowers, and okay. I think they are very beautiful, yeah. and I am selling them as digital download very affordable prints okay i will give you a link yeah digital download like when you can download photo and print it at home or in local print office that's cool yeah great option Not if you don't so. want to yeah. So what I'm going to do is post a link to that and um, your some other links. And the one you mentioned, the book you were talking about as well. Yeah, people should read it. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. That's cool. Great ideas. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's awesome. Was there anything else you were interested in bringing oh. up or talking about? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love your work. I think it's great. And I'm glad you were able to uh, do this with me. Honestly, um, when you mentioned doing this, I mean, I feel like this is the birth of doing something <coughs> new for the group. So thank you for giving me the idea. I appreciate it. It's, um, and I was, um, I've been telling my friends about it and people on the internet hoping this thing turns out to be an actual thing. I'm actually thinking about turning it possibly into a podcast and yeah. uh, doing, yeah, you might take the audio from this or something and try to turn it into a, the first episode. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Lots of ideas. It you know? will be amazing. So, yeah. So thank you very much. Thank but, you too. Yeah, absolutely. Me. Totally. Um, anyway, with that, we will conclude with this discussion and uh, you take care. It's, it's good meeting you and having this discussion. Take Me care. Me too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>